Hey guys, it's Stacy, and today I have a book talk for you guys, um, and that book talk is on The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey because this book was amazing and I can't stop thinking about it and so I just want to talk about it and make a video about it and whatnot. So if you have not read this book, um, do not watch it because there will be spoilers all for this book because it is a sequel, so do spoilers for the fifth way you book too. So yeah, but anyway, first things first. My baby Evan did not die and I'm so happy about it. <sighs> I was so scared that Evan was going to die even though he's the main lo love interest for Cassie. I didn't want him to die and, it's <sighs> and then he gets saved by this weird other person like him, same as him, named Grace who is like creepy stalkerish, wants to keep him as her pet. I was like, I mean like to be honest, I want to keep him as a pet too because... Mm. Evan's beautiful but she was so weird and she like wanted to keep him there and like she creeped me out to the max and she was weird I'm so glad Evan finally re reunited with Cassie even though he kind of beat the crap out of Ben but what can you do he's got to get to his lady somehow okay and Ringer I'm not a big fan of Ringer even though I'm a, I like her more than I did in the first book and by the end of this book I'm okay with her like didn't like her at the beginning of this book, um, like from here till here is like ringers, give or take some. Okay, so this first chunk is her, and then the middle is Evan, Cassie, and Ben, and then this last chunk is ringers, which this last big chunk goes by really fast, but ringer was not a character I enjoyed. I liked her in the movie more than I liked her in the fifth wave book and in this book in the fifth wave book i didn't think she was important i didn't see why ringer was there but she plays a very big role in this novel and how things come to light in this novel which is great i loved that a lot um i still don't care for ringer i like her more than i did but you know but then there's razor who also known as alex who befriended her betrayed her then befriended her and then they banged in that barn which then he died for her I was so upset when he died like it was probably a necessary kill off but he was great he was funny if you liked Razor leave a comment down below because I loved him even though he betrayed her but he still loved her and he Razor was Ringer's Evan like Evan what Evan is to Cassie is what Razor was to Ringer and whatnot. I feel like Ringer and Ben are going to canoodle in the lit in the next book, which I'm okay with as long as he's not with Cassie because he did kiss Cassie in this book. And I'm so glad she kind of just like brushed it off like, eh, no big deal. I don't care about you. But she said like she would have sold her soul for that like a year ago in which... You know, she used to love Ben, but now Evan is her everything. And I'm so glad she was like, it has no effect on me now. Because because Evan is everything, even though Ben is pretty cute too. Talk about Pound Cake being the little hero he is. I love him. Pound Cake, his old muteness. So cute. So cute. I did not like how Nugget was acting in this novel. I feel like he drastically changed from the first book to the second book. I know he's just a kid, but it was so like mean and whatnot I'm like don't pick Ben over your sister okay Ben's good and all and he's good to have a role model whatnot but Cassie is your sister do not pick Ben over your sister like blah, blah, blah. sleep with your bear like she went through everything for that stupid bear <sighs> but even though the bear hurts my heart anyway but moving on anyway and they're not aliens it's they're genetically like enhanced they're just like human 2.0 and everything is crazy like when that that like blew my mind that was like the best plot twist I've ever read in my entire life like <sighs> so not aliens they're just enhanced and now Ringer is enhanced just like Evan is or was but now that he's like crashed all of his systems but Ringer is an other now she's just enhanced which pretty cool pretty cool and they want her to bring Evan to him. But I thought it would be Cassie. But it's Evan. Evan's great. Oh, love Evan. I am so ready for the last star. And 
I love this. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars, if you didn't know. It's great. I loved it just as much as I love the 5th wave. And I don't know why everybody says it lacks, because it actually has a lot. It's unique and different from the first book, and it is quite a bit shorter, but who cares? Get over it. Not every book has to have, you don't have to think every book has to have second book syndrome, because it doesn't. Some people just want it to. Anyway, what up? whatever. So, tell me below your thoughts on this book. I would really want to know if we have some similar thoughts or different thoughts and whatnot. And so, yeah, that is all for today's video. And I hope you guys are having a great day and bye.